Hello, hello, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome back. We are still working on the coffee and chocolate journal, and right now I am putting on a piece of fabric onto this Signature 2 paper bag. On the back of it I've put the um, another one of the mill advertisements, and I'm hoping not to do anything to the inside of these. Now this is a piece of fabric that is I got on Etsy. It's by Nicole DeCamp. For the Love of Coffee by Nicole DeCamp. Uh, www.benetrex.com Pattern number fresh brewed words one four one five six one four one five six fresh brewed words so there you are that's what this is and I still have my the fabric that I bought for Josephine my niece and it is a library theme, and it is so cool. And I nearly need to get that out to her. Because <laughs> I'm so slow at mailing. I don't know what happens to me with mail, but I'll tell you, it is a forever um, challenge for me. And, it, you know, it's probably just that I don't like going to the post office. Um, <laughs> that's probably all it is. I probably just do not like going there. And so I just have a real hang-up with it. So, you know, there is that. Sometimes we just have a... I hang up or something. <laughs> That's mine. Oh dear, where's my towels? Oh, right there. Really don't want that page to close down on me. I'm gonna let that hang over the top a little bit there. Whoops. A little bit on the paper. A lot on my hands. And I'm going to do something with that inside over there in just a second. Um, let's see. I don't know if that'll stick to... Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Oh, oh hey. Oh, dear. There we go. I was going to say, how do I cut it? Well, I'll get this little cutter out right here. Slice it there, and then we slice it again over here. There we go, and we're going to slide that in there like so and chop that off right up there oh look at that I tried to cut those things off again oh my gosh I'm still going to cut them off <laughs> but before I get done they'll probably be gone so anyway, that's kind of a hard thing to place back in there, but uh, it needs it because of the 
fabric coming so close in there and being so sticky, I'm sure it will just stick the pages together. So I'm just going to plop this down there. Like so. And there we go. That should take care of it. Okay. And then, of course, in here, now we have this beautiful little pocket. And we have this beautiful piece of fabric here. We have a little bit of silver and a little bit of coffee. Perhaps we could put this up here as part of our fabric look at. Why not? Um, we could uh, actually staple it right up there. And that gives you just something to kind of look at. I don't know. Or not. Nah, let's not. Let's leave this like that. Put that over there. Bring this in. And I'm going to make a pocket here. Not a pocket. A journal card. We're going to cut it off right about there. We'll go right there. There. And then I think I'll just cut this little tag thing off of here. Do -do! This will go in here, like so. And we will put some paper back there to um, make that a better piece for for that. That one's kind of yellow, but if we leave a little edge around it, then we'll have a little bit of map around the edge too, and that'll be nice. I kind of like that. Just give it a little bit of an edge. Very nice. And I think it's okay to use this yellow paper. It was in my scrap drawer. And oh yeah, that'll look good. Okay. Come on. Start my timer. I have no idea what time it is. I just came in here and sat down, started working, and then decided to flip the camera on. So, looks like it's about 2.45 on my time. And 
And let me put a pin in here. That one goes to this one. This one goes here. There we go. Okay. So, I should have rounded those corners because now I kind of want to round these. But, yeah just going to go in there as a journaling card, I think. Yeah, I think it'll just go in as a journaling card. Um, let me do something with that. Looking for my, oops, that's my rock. I have a pet rock. Oh, I move my lamp back around. A little bit of map there. Yeah, I don't care if that's not right in the middle or anything like that. That does not bother me. It's wherever it is. Okay. And this goes in here. Just like so. So now we have a little peek that it's there. Okay, so let's see what I've done with Signature 2. We have a pocket. Um, we have writing pages. Lots of writing pages. We have a little pocket here with our sack. And we just put a piece of ephemera in there that can be written on. We have an old story here. I wish I'd have kept the other half of it for them, but I didn't. We have clocks. And then we have this side. So, do we want something there? Like oh, the chocolate. I think we do, right? So there's that. And what if we gave it just a little bit of a oomph there? Like so. Yep. 
maybe here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to go here, here. Like so. This one. Okay. Then we're going to go here and here, like that. There we go. Perfect. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and then we have this one here. Now we can put another picture here. We have these wonderful looking cinnamon rolls that could go on here. a little bit of thrill. No, not that. Nope, nope, nope. I hope this sticks to this. This is from uh, Free Spirit Arts, Carol. Uh, she dyed a bunch of this, and I bought some from her, and I'm so glad I did. I absolutely love using it. There we go. Look at that. Very cool. So these are going to go here. And I'm going to... Hopefully it'll glue down okay with these. It does wrinkle up pretty good, this paper, but that's okay. 
when it's something like this and it's got all that beautiful feeling to it, then you bet that the wrinkles begin. And besides that, it matches this page over here. And I love it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love that. I do, I do. Oops, tried to ruin that. I'm gonna leave it alone now. There we go. Okay, so then we have this page and I'm going to leave it. That's the center. We have the chocolate. I'm doing nothing to that one. We can put another picture here or we can put some sort of a pocket or a belly band in it. We have absolutely no belly bands yet. So there is that as an option to us. Um, we have some drawers. Oh, look at this. That could be our belly band, even though it doesn't quite reach. No, I don't want that to be the belly band. I think we'll go with the chocolate. There to there, and probably right here. So we've got some really good pieces to use here. These would make great pockets. Some of these squares would make great pockets too, wouldn't they? Uh-oh, I cut that way all wrong. Way, way all wrong. There we go. That's better. That was a goof, wasn't it? And then we come down to here. Let's see. Actually, I think we go like this and we say, let's put it in a pocket. A big tall pocket right there, made of leather. have another little tuck place right here. Maybe one here, one there. Put some stamps or something. Or we could do it this way. Let's do it this way. Right here. Has another little pocket. Pocket on a pocket. Ooh, that one needs a that one needs a little oomph to it. 
there we go just a little notch that says don't forget I'm a pocket but I'm not a pocket here okay so little pocket and little pocket and we'll put some little bits in those like here is um, a sticker we could put in this one I like that and perhaps no, I don't want to put it in that one we better save some of these for um, bigger things you call it empty nest I call it a new tra craft studio this is from scrapbook.com I save those because they might have something good on them that I could include in a <laughs> Look at that. We can turn that into a little tag. There we go. And then we can turn that into a little tag. Just little things that can be um, used as ephemera or used somewhere else in the journal. Um, for no other reason than to just use them. And down here we need something. Um, Oh, something I totally forgot about were these die cuts. There, why don't we put cafe on there? I like that. There we go. That's cool. I like that. And then we will put this right here. Oh dear. Oh, I forgot to cut that top part off. That's what it is. I have to cut that off a little bit. Right here. Perfect. Okay. here I'm going to add a little bit of fun something that they can use somewhere else in their journal if they wish to nice. OK, 
Okay. Then we have a couple more pages to write on. And then here I covered uh, this back of this picture because it was just all writing. And I put on some of this net, um, a trim right here. I had to double it because it was very see-through, as you can see. Um, so I doubled it and squished it down, and that made it fairly flat. Great writing space. Here is another pocket. So I would like to put something in there. Um, I think that it's going to need a big tag. So I think we might make this into a tag where you can... Oh, that's so pretty right there, isn't it? Let's save that one. Um, we'll put a big tag in here anyway. We'll find something. And then we're getting down to some of the nitty gritty here. Um, we've got like words and stuff we can use. Coffee we can use. Um, I've got one big sheet left. And then we have lots of little things that I got through those other digitals. Um, so these would be fun to use too. Like this, Lion Coffee. This would be a good um, one to go right in here. And this is uh, from Chocolate Rabbit. I don't know what that went to. I, I do, but... Oh, it went to that uh, mesh um, trim that I put in there. I had to... Uh, it is a non-stick piece. Oh, my scissors. They're saying, you probably should put me back with my plug. And coffee cake. That would be a good one to go in there. Now, where are my... I know I have some brown... recipe cards. Would be good for these. Not sure where they are though. Oh, oh dear, what did I do with that? Put this on here with this, the chocolate rabbit. Okay, so we have these two things. I think that's a chocolate rabbit. Or is that uh, this one? The designer box. I think it's chocolate rabbit. Let's see. Chocolate rabbit. Yeah, from chocolate rabbit. Okay, not that. Let's look at the backs. And back. I'm grabbing out a piece of straw paper here. So we're going to use straw paper this time.
Coffee cake is a very good recipe to put in a coffee and chocolate book, isn't it? And then we have the Lion Coffee receipt. Lion Coffee for the breakfast table. It excels all others. Wolson Spice Company, Toledo, Ohio. Drank daily in a million homes. Oh, come on. Look at how crooked I got that. Okay. One more. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, Sift together with four teaspoons baking powder, one fourth cup sugar, three tablespoons shortening, one egg, and one cup of buttermilk. Uh, beat the egg and mix it with the buttermilk. Mix all to a batter like dough, stiff. Spread in a grease pan, 8 by 12. Cross with streusel topping. And bake in the oven at 400 degrees. There we go. Now you know what's going to happen. I did not measure these to see if they would fit these pockets at all. So I don't know if they will. Where is this pocket? Not there. Not there. Oh dear. Oh, there it is. There it is. There. Perfect. So we have a recipe and we have a lion coffee receipt. You can write on both sides, and you can bake with this one. Use it to bake with, I guess, I should say. Okay, we are going to stop there for today. And what do we have left here? I don't think we have anything left here. Nope. Nope. So we're on to signature three next. So we got a lot of work to do there. And then on to signature four, which is a really fat one. So I don't know what we'll do with it. Okay. Well, when we come back, signature three it is. And so there's one of the things we did today. We got all kinds of things done today. I love that. That is just so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, very beautiful. I don't know what happened to my thing that works on these, but there, I guess it's going to sit. I need to find my glue and get this in it before I leave you because when I get done, I, I sometimes just leave the room and I want to make sure I have this stuff together.
Well, I was looking for my little rubber um, whatchamacallit. I don't know what you even call it right now. It opens these. So, there we go. We'll just throw these in there. And I will uh, see you next time. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.